Hello, praise God and God bless you. Shalom. I am Bishop Kwesi Ohusu from the Roma Pentecostal Church. I am very grateful that today you are here watching or listening this short message. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what kind of situation that today you can compare to what I'm about to say. But I want to talk about a young man called Joseph. A dreamer, a dreamer, a dreamer. It is no wrong to have a dream. Maybe you have some vision, you have some uh, dream that you want to give birth to. You are waiting for the dream to come to pass. And people are even not trusting in you or they don't believe you. Yes, you are that person I'm talking to. I'm talking to you so that you will know that it doesn't matter what people think about you. It doesn't matter what the society think about you. All that you need to do is to hold on to your faith. Never let anybody divert you from your purposes in life. Because those who have dream rule the future. But only if you allow your dreams to come to pass. A young man called Joseph in the book of Genesis chapter 37 from verse number 3. I can read from the New King James Version for you to understand what I am talking about. The scripture says in New King James Version, uh, Genesis chapter th uh, 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 37, verse 3. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. Also he made a tonic of many clothes or many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceable with him. This is the man. His father loves him and he saw a cloth of many colors for him. But the scripture says, when the father did that, it provoked the brethren. And they began to hate him. Why? Because the father has been loved. The boy has been loved by the father. Because Joseph is a beloved child. And the scripture declared that we are beloved children of God. God loves you. God loves me. God loves us. And he has given us the Holy Ghost, the anointing, the power of God has been given to us free. Free, free. He did not charge us for anything. He just gave to us for free. Now, let's continue and see what happened here. Number one, they hated him because of the clothes of the money colors that the Father has put on him. Because of that, the Bible says they could not speak with him in a peaceful manner. You see? So that shows you right now that people not liking you, people speaking bad about you, is not something new. It is because your father loves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, 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 they can't do anything about it because their father loves you. When you read verse 5, the Bible says, Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him even more. Verse 6, So he said to them, Please, hear this dream, which I have dreamt. You see, this guy loves his brothers. He loved them, even though he knew that they hate him. He said, Now listen to the dream. I want to tell you the greatness that God has revealed to me. I want to tell you the, the vision that I have. I want to tell you that I am pregnant with a miracle that something great is about to happen. Joseph did not give up. Joseph continued selling his dreams to his brethren. And the scripture said, the brothers hated him. More Joseph speak about his dreams, more the brothers hate him. And when you read further, you can find out that the brothers were so angry with Joseph, but Joseph was not angry with their brothers. The Bible says, Joseph had another dream. And when he had a dream, he told it to his brothers. Then the brothers 
hated him, but their bro the brothers hated hating him did not stop God of revealing new things to this young man. Why? Because the guy have a pure heart. The Bible says a pure and a clean heart, my God will never reject. All that you need in order to give birth to your dreams or to see your dreams being visible is that you should have a clean heart. Verse number 9, the Bible says, Then he dreamed still another dream and told it, told it to his brothers and said, Look, I have dreamed another dream. And this time the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars bowed down to me. So he told it to his father and his father and his he told it to his father, and his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamt? Shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come and bow down to and bow down to the earth before you? And his brothers envied him, but his father kept the matter in mind hallelujah the brothers hated him their job is to hate but the father even though he rebuked him it was a prophetic the dream was a prophetic dream why because at that time joseph was the 11th child and he had a dream and 11 people were bowed down before him 11 stars were bowed down before him. The sun and the moon and the 11 stars were bowed down. Joseph saw the revelation and he did not know that his father, Israel, was going to have another child called Benjamin. But he had the revelation and he told it to his brothers and the brothers hated him. When you continue reading this one, you can find out that one day when he decided to continue to do good as usual, he went to give food to his brothers. He didn't find the brothers. He continued looking for the brothers because of the love of Yahweh, the love of God, Elohim, that was in his heart. He was pursuing his brothers to look and bring message to his father. The Bible says when they saw him coming, when they saw him coming, I love that one, verse 12. The Bible says, uh, then his brothers went went to the field. And when you read, you come down there. You can find out that after looking and looking and looking, he found his brothers. Hallelujah. And verse 18 said, Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they said to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming. Come. And let us do what? Come therefore and let us kill him and cast him into the pit. And we shall say some wild animals or some wild bees has devoured him. We shall see what will happen or what will become of his dream. So now you see, it was no more the cloth, it was no more the tonic, but it was the dream that the boy has. The world is against you. Why? Because you have a dream. The, uh, the enemy is fighting you because you have got a dream. So I want you to understand, as long as you continue dreaming, as long as you continue doing good, as long as you keep the instructions of God, people will hate you. Your brothers, your sisters will hate you. Your church members will hate you. The society will hate you. But one thing I want you to know is that as long as your heart is pure, you don't have to care much about what people are saying until they start calling you, you a dreamer. They say, here come a dreamer. Let us kill him. I don't know what kind of plans. The Bible says there are many plans of, uh, 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 in a man's heart. But nevertheless, the counsel of Yahweh, the counsel of Elohim, the counsel of El Shaddai shall come to pass. 
They will plan a lot about you, but because God has a purpose for you, they catch this young man, they put him into the pit, they try to kill him, Reuben intervened. The Bible says, then they showed him out to a strange land. I don't know what kind of strange land you find yourself right now, but I am here to assure you that where you are, you cannot prosper from there. But where you are going, there is where God is taking you. So I want you to prepare yourself. This is a month that you are about to give birth to your dreams. Your dreams will never be destroyed. Your, your, your vision will not be destroyed. The enemy will see you before they know they are bowing down before you. What they don't want to see you becoming, they will see and they will marvelous. I want you to stay with me. Every week you receive something. The Lord is about to lift you up. Before the end of this year, I know that all your dreams, none of your dreams will be aborted by the enemy. Your life will never be the same. God bless you and may the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord cause you not to look left or right, but to look forward to your dream. Focus. And you are the only person who can dream and kill your dream. You, you will not allow your dream to be killed, isn't it? I don't think so. Because the enemy fear you. It is only you who can destroy your vision. It is only you who can destroy your dream. Hold on to your faith and keep on moving because this is your time. Your time to give birth to your dream. He became a prime minister and he ruled. And I'll continue this story. May the Lord bless you as you watch this one. God bless you and strengthen you in Yeshua's name. Amen. Shalom.